This is a $450 car blower. And this is a $60 car blower. Well, it's actually a duster, but we use it as a blower. And in today's video, we're gonna see which one performs better. If you're interested in any of the links, I'll have them down in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started. So this X power blower duster isn't really meant to be a car blower. If you read the description from its own product page, it says dust and clean computers, laptops, car interiors, cameras, medical equipment, model vehicles, and blinds. So it's very, very, very low power relative to an actual car blower. Now, that being said, can you still dry parts of the vehicle with this thing? So yes, it's powerful enough to help you dry the entire vehicle. Now you might be asking, well, if the $60 blower works, then why even purchase and use the $450 blower? I'll show you why. So this is the Big Boy Blower Pro. It has a dual motor system, which means it has dual motors. We upgraded the hose to the 25, 29 foot hose, meaning when we turn it on, we can wrap around any vehicle in this shop while keeping this unit stationary which is good for us because we run a business. So the multiple vehicles that come through today, the only thing we have to do is grab the hose, turn it on, and then walk around the entire vehicle. Now it claims it can blow up to speeds of 179 miles per hour. That's a lot and it is very strong and just due, due to the pure strength and power of this unit, it can blow down the vehicle much faster and a lot more efficiently. Now let's try and do a side-by-side -side comparison between the two. Let's start off with the X power on the door. Okay, definitely not bad. Now let's do the big boy blower. That moved a bit quicker. Now let's go over to the wheel and let's start off with the X power blower. Like I say, it gets the job done. Now let's see the big boy. But I don't just want you to think that the big boy blower is the best option out there. Yes, it is the best as far as the quality and the strength, but can the $60 air blower get it done as well? Absolutely, we have the $60 X Power, we have the $100 uh, Air Force Sidekick, we have the $240 Eagle 650 Plus blower, and we have the, uh, the motorcycle blower for $80, we have the big boy blower for $450, and each one of those gets the job done. So now let's go into the pros and cons of each one because there are some pros that the X Power has over the big boy. On the X Power, obviously, it's gonna be price. Anyone can purchase the $60 blower because it's pretty affordable and it gets the job done. Now, the con to it is that you have to battle with the cord the entire time. So if you're walking around the vehicle and the floor is obviously wet, I'm just not a fan of dragging an electrical cord over the water, right? So you have to be mindful of that. And then it can be a bit cumbersome or annoying to grab both the electrical cord and then the cord that comes out of the blower and managing those two things. Not the biggest deal breaker, but it's just one of those things, especially for us doing it so many times, that it gets annoying. Now, the plus side to the blower is that you just turn on the machine and you walk around with the hose and it can wrap around the whole vehicle and you just start blowing. 
Now, the two downsides to that is once you turn on the blower, you don't wanna just have the nozzle pointing anywhere, right? Because it's blowing a lot of air. If you just wash the vehicle and the shop, the driveway is dusty, there's debris, there's leaves, whatever, you'll easily just blow that back up. So you have to be mindful and you have to hold the nozzle upwards until you get to the point where you can start blowing. Now, another negative to that is that since the machine is so powerful, depending on your electrical and your uh, breaker and all that, it can blow a circuit and you have to just deal with that as well. So when we have, a, when we have ours on for too long, it'll, uh, it'll flip the switch on the breaker and then we just have to go and, and you know, uh, switch it back. But that could be an annoyance too if you don't have a strong enough um, outlet or circuit or breaker in order to actually run that machine. Now credit to both of them, but especially the X power, they both do do have a, a, a two settings that you can control. So here, if you don't want it to be that strong, put it on setting one. If you want it stronger, put it on setting two. For the most part, we're always just having it on setting two when we do use this one. Now when it comes to the big boy, depending on what exactly we're working on, whether it's an engine, whether it's blowing off like uh, the entire vehicle, whether it's like maybe we're just doing like one wheel or something that we forgot to do, whatever, whatever, you can dial in the speed a lot better on that one because there's essentially four settings, right, that you can play with on that one on the on the big boy. So my recommendation is if you're just getting into detailing, if you need some kind of blower to blow off the standing water from your engine, wheels, paint, something like this is a great option. I'll also have the Air Force Sidekick linked down below as well. This is something that will get the job done, that will blow out the water, that will help you in drying your vehicle and keeping it maintained. So 100% recommend this one or something similar to this one, like the Air Force Sidekick or even the $80 motorcycle blower that I'll have linked down below. For the big boy blower, if you are one just into like detailing and washing your vehicle on your own thing, it's more for just a personal thing and you wanna spend the money on the nicer item, 100% I do recommend the big boy blower or any of their products because there's even more expensive ones than the ones that we had. And if you're doing this as a business and you're getting into washing detailing vehicles professionally, I would more so still recommend a lower priced option like this just because as a business, you don't wanna throw all your money into tools and products. And the Big Boy Blower is a nice to have, it's cool, it does make the process easier, but this 100% still gets the job done, which is why I would say, hey, look, if you're limited on a budget, if you, don't, or if you aren't really doing that many vehicles, go with something of this caliber, like a $60, an $80, and $100 item. You don't need to spend $450 on that Big Boy Blower. Although it's fantastic, it's great, I don't think it's the best option if you're not there in your business quite yet. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you on the next one.